In this video, we are going to show you how to create a new model in STAD Pro Connect Edition. To start this process, I'm going to launch the program by double clicking on the STAD Pro Connect Edition icon that's available on my desktop. Once the program opens, you're going to immediately enter the STAD Pro Connect Edition Start screen. One of the areas I'm going to point your attention to is the Additional Licenses area. For STAD Pro Connect Edition, we have significantly simplified the license selection process. And we do have a couple of additional licenses available for STAD Viva, STAD Plan Win, and also RAM Connection. If you are planning on using any of these features of the program during this session, you're going to want to activate those licenses before opening your model or creating a new model. In addition to that, we can also go to the configure area, which will contain a lot of your frequently used configuration items, such as your base unit selection and also your global access orientation. When you are ready, we're going to use the STAD Pro Start screen to create a new model. So we're going to come over here and select the new option. And we're going to name our file. and we're going to specify its location. Now below that we have a new type field which is new in STAD Pro Connect Edition. The first option is to enter the analytical workflow area. This will be used to model your structure using analytical elements. The analytical model is a finite element model of the structure which is typically processed directly by the analysis and design engine. If you're using STAD Pro V8i and are transitioning to STAD Pro Connect Edition, the analytical workflow is basically our traditional way of modeling structures, and that was the way you were modeling structures in STAD Pro V8i. New in STAD Pro Connect Edition, we have a physical modeling workflow. This area is used to model your structure in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using physical members. The physical model is used to draw structural elements as they are physically constructed. The program will then decompose this into an analytical model, which is passed to the STAD Pro analysis and design engine when you run your model. For this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on getting comfortable with the new graphical user interface of the analytical modeler. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to select our English units. And to finish this up, we're going to click on our Create icon, which will enter us directly into the new STAD Pro graphical user interface. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.